What's up, people? I'm back. You guys haven't seen me in a while. I apologize for that. I've been busy, and with the holiday season, I'm going to be even busier. But today, I'm here to, to talk to you guys about CM Punk and his upcoming project with Marvel Comics to write four comic books. And I know this has been a story for a couple days now. I just want to get my opinion on it. Um, so I'll get into that, but again, I'm sorry guys I haven't made a video in a while, but to be honest, there really hasn't been much to talk about with the, with the WWE, and this was like the only good news and rumors that I talk, that I want to talk about, because there just hasn't been much. I mean, I haven't reviewed Monday Night Raw in weeks, months now, because it just hasn't been exciting, I've been getting kind of tired of the WWE product. I mean, Survivor Series is looking okay, I mean, you got Team... 40 versus Team Cena, that's looking okay. You got Dean Ambrose versus Bray Wyatt, that looks okay. But the rest of the card looks like trash to me. I, I could really care less about the card. And for another thing, I haven't watched the last two pay-per-views. I did not see Hell in a Cell, I did not see Night of Champions, because I just didn't care about it, and also because I was busy, and I was working. But, um, so yeah, so I want to make more YouTube videos, guys, I just have been busy, and like I said, the WWE has just not been very exciting lately. Um, maybe I will start making other YouTube videos, so you guys can have something to watch on my channel. That isn't just about WWE, I mean, that was kind of my point. Well, sorry. I mean, yeah, so I'll, uh, try and make other YouTube videos, whether it's making movie reviews, whether it's reviewing video games... I'm going to try and get WWE 2K15 soon, and maybe I'll review that game. Um, I also will probably make a review of music or rap albums or... Hell, I might even talk about football. So, I might start talking about other stuff on my channel besides WWE, because I just haven't been very interested in, in the product this year. At the end of 2014, I might do a year in review of 2014 for WWE... And it's not going to be a good review. <laughs> well, I mean, it'll be a good review for YouTube, but for the WWE, it's not going to be a good review. Because it's been a pretty disappointing year. I mean, there I'll talk about some things I liked about 2014 and some stuff that I just did not care about at all for the year. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably be doing a year in review for WWE once 2015 comes around. But um, And also, before I talk about CM Punk and the Marvel Project... Um, like I said, there wasn't a whole lot of other rumors this week. Uh, wait, that wasn't what I was going to say about that, guys. Um, shit, I totally forgot what I was going to say now. I'll just come back to it when I think of it, but... Uh, anyway, though, CM Punk has been in the news, even when, when he's not in the WWE. Like, people will talk about him being at Chicago Blackhawk Games. Um, I saw him on The Talking Dead last night after The Walking Dead... I mean, that could be another thing I, I could review is The Walking Dead, but I saw him on Talking Dead. I DVR'd it, so I haven't seen him. I haven't seen the whole episode of Talking Dead yet, but CM Punk was on last night. Um, so, I mean, even when he's not in the WWE, CM Punk is still doing stuff. So I take respect in that. Like, now he's he wants to work with Marvel Comics and write four comic books, which I think is actually pretty cool. So with that said, guys, I'll get into the article here, because CM Punk... Um, spoke with Marvel.com about the new gig. CM Punk will be teaming with artist Rob Gilroy to write Thor Annual Number 1 for Marvel Comics. The project will be released in February. And here is the interview with Marvel. Marvel.com asks, how did this project come together? CM Punk says, I can't remember and I knew you were going to ask me that. I've been thinking for the past two hours, like, how did this all come about? I mean, you know, I've been pestering people at Marvel. I think it might have been, well, I think I met you at San Diego Comic-Con 2011, something like that. Marvel.com, yeah, a while ago. CM Punk, yeah, and I wound up talking to Marvel Comics Editor-in-Chief Axel Alonso, and it was always kind of like, yeah, yeah, we'd love to have you do something. We'd love to have you do something, and you know, I was always just so busy. I think I just pestered all the right people, and the right things kind of popped up. How exactly it came up, I can't really exactly remember. I can't remember who said, hey, want to do Thor? You know what I mean. That pretty much blew my mind. I'd say it's been a long process. Marvel.com, I love it. You mentioned you haven't written a comic script before, but it's not like you haven't been creating for years and years. 
playing a character on TV and in wrestling rings for so long. How did that affect how you approach this kind of creative endeavor? CM Punk answers, you know, I think I'm more suited for it just because I've been reading comic books my entire life, wearing tights in front of thousands of people, and kind of almost play acting. I think down the road it might give me some sort of insight depending on what kind of characters I'm writing and what the story is, but I'm not really sure it prepared me so much for being able to write a script to, to script a comic book. I'm definitely prepared to fall flat on my face. I think, if anything, wrestling got me used to understanding that failure is part of a process. And the only real failure is if you don't try. Like, I could be nervous and bite my fingernails, worried that I think my book is going to be a piece of crap, but I could not be, could, but I could be not doing it, and that would be the true failure. So that's what this interview with CM Punk says. Um, and all in all, I think it's kind of cool. If, uh, it's not kind of cool. I think it is cool that CM Punk gets the opportunity to um, write for Marvel comic books for Thor. Um, I don't really read a lot of Marvel comic books, but, I mean, I obviously know who Thor is because I've seen the Avenger movies and I've seen the Thor movies. But um, I just think that's pretty cool, CM Punk. And, I mean, what an opportunity to write for a comic book. I think that would be the coolest thing ever. Um, but with this being said now about him working with and writing Marvel comic books. I don't see him returning to the WWE for a while now. I think he'll still be retired. Um, so I don't think he'll be back for a while because, I mean, while he could wrestle and write comic books at the same time, it would be kind of a lot, it would be quite a task. Um, but once these comic books come out, I might just check it out though, since that CM Punk is making it. It comes out in February, I think they said, of next year. So I might just check it out. See if it's good or not. Um, I know that CM Punk is into comic books because I've seen it pictures he's posted on Twitter of the Walking Dead comic books, and he watches the Walking Dead show. That's why he was on Talking Dead last night. Um, and I mean, I like the Walking Dead comic books, too. They're pretty good, and like I said, I, I read a couple Marvel comic books. I'm not like one of those diehard comic book nerds who read, like, all this issues and all that shit. I, I just don't have time for that, and it's just too nerdy, but um, I, I have read a couple, so I mean, I'm kind of interested to see what CM Punk does with uh, Thor. And, I mean, even if the comic book fails, I mean, it's just a cool opportunity to try out. And, um, I mean, just what an opportunity to try. I mean, even if you fail, I mean, at least you got to try something that you always wanted to do, is the way I look at it. Um, but, yeah, he probably be returning to the WWE for a while. I mean, he could come to Royal Rumble, win the Royal Rumble, um, and headline WrestleMania 31, but I kind of doubt that's going to happen. So, yeah, but that's pretty much going to do it, though, for this video, guys. Um, like I said, I'll try and make more YouTube videos, whether it's movie reviews, TV show reviews, rap album reviews, music, any other music review, or video game reviews. I'll come up with something, because I, I know i got to give you guys more videos instead of just, like, one video, like, every month or something like that. So, I apologize for that. Um, I might do a, a video of, because I heard a rumor about The Rock possibly wrestling at WrestleMania 31. Um, I knew that, I mean, we all saw his return and his confrontation with Rusev, and if The Rock has any plans of WWE. So I might do a video about that if I ever see a news article about it. I haven't seen any news articles, I just have heard rumors. haven't seen any articles, so until I see an article on WrestleScoop.com, I will not be posting any videos. Regarding those rumors until I see something on WrestleScoop.com. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, like I said, I'll try and make more videos later on. Let me know what you guys think of CM Punk writing for Marvel comic books. And that's going to do it, guys. Like my video. Helps out my channel. Comment on, comment on my video. I like to interact with, with you guys. And, of course, subscribe to my channel. That will definitely help out my channel. So that's going to do it for this for a video for today, guys. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon.